Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? We have a plus 2ab plus b equals to 27. Here, a is greater than b and greater than or equals to 0. So, we want to find the value of a and b. From here, let's multiply both sides by 2. So, we have 2 multiplied by a plus 2ab plus b. We close bracket then equals to 27 times 2 from here then from here we can open this bracket and this becomes 2a plus 4ab plus 2b which is equals to 27 times 2 here give us 54 and uh, in the next step let's factor 2a from these two terms so 2a come out, then we are left with 1 here, then plus, we are left with 2b here, then close bracket, plus 2b equals to 54. Then this one plus 2b, we can also have 1 plus 2b here by adding 1 to this side, and also add 1 to this side. Then this will now become 2a into bracket 1 plus 2b close bracket then plus also here we have 1 plus 2b then equals to 54 plus 1 since we have added 1 here then we had 1 on that side to balance the two sides then we can put this in bracket like this then we have 1 plus 2b common then what is here is 1 then we have 2a plus 1 left, so we have 2a plus 1, then into bracket 1 plus 2b, which is equal to 54 plus 1, that's 55. Then from here, recall that we said a is greater than b, which is greater than or equals to 0. Then from here, we... Of this first bracket should be greater than the second bracket that is into bracket 2a plus 1 will be greater than into bracket 1 plus 2b then we have 55 here which we can write as 55 times 1 we can also write it as 11 times 5 we can also write it as 1 times 55 then we can also write it as 5 times 11 now since we said 2a plus 1 is greater than 1 plus 2b it means this you know serving as 2a plus 1 now will be valid for this statement also 11 serving as 2a plus 1 and then 5 serving as 1 plus 2b also will be valid then this will not be valid for this you know statement also this will not be valid now for these two statements now we have the first one when 2a plus 1 is equals to 55 and uh, we have 1 plus 2b to be equals to 1 that's the first case and the second case when we have 2a plus 1 to be equals to 11 and uh, we have 1 plus 2b to be equal to 5. Now let's solve for a in the first equation here. We can take 1 to this side. So we have 2a now will be equal to 55 minus 1, which is 54. Then we divide both sides by 2 to get a. 2 cancel 2 here. So a from here is equal to 27. So we have a to be 27 here. Then also we can get the value of b here. When we take 1 to this side, so 2b will be 1 minus 1, that's 0. So 2b equals to 0 from there. Then divide both sides by 2. Then 2 cancel out here. b here will now be equal to 0. So b is equal to 0 when a equals to 27. Then, on this side as well, we can solve for a. Take 1 to this side, that's 11 minus 1. 
So we have two a now equals to ten. That's divide both sides by two. We have two cancel two here. Then a here equals to five. Then we can also solve for b in this second equation by taking one to this side. So we have two b equals to five minus one, which is equals to four. Divide both sides by two. Then two cancel out here. We have b here equals to two. Then when b is equals to two, a equals to five. Also, let's check to confirm if this satisfies the given problem. From a plus two ab plus b equals to twenty-seven. The first one we have a to be twenty-seven and b to be zero. So when a is twenty-seven and b equals to zero, then this equation becomes twenty-seven plus two times twenty-seven times zero and plus zero is this equal to twenty-seven from here? Then we have two times twenty-seven times zero will be zero. Plus anything times zero that's zero. So we have twenty-seven plus zero plus zero. Is it equal to twenty-seven from here? Then we have this side of course is twenty-seven, which is equal to twenty-seven. Left hand side equals to right hand side. Then this values of a and b here satisfy the given problem. Now for the second solution when a equals to five and b equals to two. Also we substitute in the equation a plus two a b plus b equals to twenty seven. So a that's five plus two a b that's two times five times two then plus b that's plus two is it equal to twenty seven from here. Then here we have five plus two times five that's ten times two that's twenty then plus two is it equal to twenty seven from here we have five plus twenty twenty five plus two of course this is twenty seven which is equal to twenty seven left hand side equals to the right hand side then we have also a equals to five and b equals to two satisfying this given problem here we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn on, turn on the notification bell. Share this video and give it a thumbs up. You can also put a comment in the comment section. See you in the next class and bye.